My name is Father Christopher Lindlar. I'm a priest of the Ordinariate of Our Lady of Walsingham here in England and vicar for finance and administration in the Ordinariate, seeking to ensure that the Ordinariate has the financial and material resources to carry out her calling and her mission, recalling England to the true faith. It's a joy and a blessing for me to join you for this Lenten retreat with EWTN. The fourth Sunday of Lent marks roughly the midpoint between Ash Wednesday and Easter Day, the glorious feast of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is known as Letare Sunday from the introit to the Mass of Lent for Letare Jerusalem. Rejoice, Jerusalem, and all who love her. Be joyful, all who were in mourning. Exult and be satisfied at her consoling breast. On Letare Sunday, strict observance of Holy Lent is relaxed somewhat. Flowers may decorate the altar and the organ may be played more generously than simply to sustain singing. At the Mass, rose-coloured vestments may be worn by the priest and other sacred ministers. And at this point I must make a personal plea for a true rose colour. Let us have a bold rose-red colour rather than that wishy-washy salmon pink that we seem to see rather too often. And surely also, members of the lay faithful assisting at Mass might also wear rose-coloured favours of some simple and stylish kind. Letare Sunday is also often known as Refreshment Sunday or Mothering Sunday. Both of these names come from the older pre-Vatican II lectionary. In the old lectionary, the Gospel for the fourth Sunday of Lent each year was St John's account of the feeding of the 5,000, pointing us towards the miracle of the Holy Eucharist and the institution of the Holy Mass on Maundy Thursday in Holy Week. God's holy people are refreshed with God's saving food. At this midpoint in Lent, together with our forebears, we look forward eagerly to the Paschal Mystery. As we briefly ease off our Lenten fast, we are reminded of the feasting soon to come and of the messianic banquet of which that feasting is but a small token. Similarly, in the old lectionary, the single reading before the Gospel, the Epistle, was taken from the fourth chapter of the letter to the Galatians, where we read, but the Jerusalem that is above is free and she is our mother. The heavenly Jerusalem that is above is the new Jerusalem, the church, the bride of Christ, our mother, the church. Here too is a timely reminder of Mary, mother of God, and our mother too. The Blessed Mother accompanies us on our Lenten pilgrimage to Jerusalem and to the celebration of the Paschal Mystery. Seemingly on this Mothering Sunday, our forebears in earlier centuries would go in procession to visit the parish church or even the cathedral as their local mother church. Perhaps also folk were given time off to visit their own mothers. Of course, Mother's Day is a secular commercial invention that contrives to displace Litare Sunday. Nevertheless, we should rejoice that folk celebrate the place of mothers and of families in secular society. And we, for our part, should not miss the chance to promote the family as integral to God's creative work. And here too, an important calendary reminder, Simnel Cake. It's especially on Letare Sunday that simnel cakes with their spices and soft, gooey marzipan would be made and eaten. Nowadays you can find simnel cakes in the shops where they are often mistakenly equated with Easter itself. But there is a special joy in making one's own, filling the house with the rich aromas of spice and baking. What better refreshment could there be? These names for Lent 4 and the customs connected with them may have faded from common parlance, but they are important. They demonstrate not so much how the faith was integrated into the common culture of our forebears, but rather that our cultural heritage was, is, integrated into the faith. So many of these seasonal markers through the year took their name from these traditionally named Sundays. 
Plough Sunday, Refreshment Sunday, Good Shepherd Sunday, and so forth. A possibly unforeseen outcome of the post-Vatican II lectionary is that many of these links or markers have been lost. In that limited sense, it could be said that the Reformed lectionary was very disruptive, perhaps in ways not intended and in ways not foreseen. If we go back to the introit for the fourth Sunday of Lent and to the other minor propers of the Mass, we can see a common thread running through the Mass. In the texts of the Ordinarius Divine Worship Missal, they read like this. The introit goes, Rejoice ye with Jerusalem, and be glad for her, all ye that delight in her. Exult and sing for joy with her, all ye that in sadness mourn for her, that ye may suck and be satisfied with the breasts of her consolations. And its verse is from Psalm 122. I was glad when they said unto me, We will go into the house of the Lord. The gradual also from Psalm 122. I was glad when they said unto me, we will go into the house of the Lord. Peace be within thy walls, and plenteousness within thy palaces. The tract, in place of the A word, that we cannot say in Lent, is from Psalm 125. They that put their trust in the Lord shall be infamous Mount Zion, which may not be removed, but standeth fast forevermore. The hills stand about Jerusalem, even so standeth the Lord round about his people, from this time forth forevermore. And finally, the Communion Antiphon, again from Psalm 122. Jerusalem is built as a city that is at unity in itself. For thither the tribes go up, even the tribes of the Lord, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. These texts from the Psalm of Ascent, sung by pilgrims approaching Jerusalem, the city of David, are like jewels scattered, threaded, through the Mass of Letare Sunday. They speak of Jerusalem, Mount Zion, the house of the Lord, a place of peace, refreshment, plenty, steadfastness, under the mighty hand of God. Thither the tribes go up, even the tribes of the Lord, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. These words, full of hope, joy and confidence, point us towards the new Jerusalem. As St John the Evangelist says, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling of God is with men. He will dwell with them. They shall be his people, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be any mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. This new Jerusalem, full of joy, hope, and the promise of God's spousal love for his people, is created and made possible by the once and for all sacrifice offered by our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ on the cross, by which we are saved and made free, and which we look forward to celebrating in the liturgies of Holy Week. This note of joy and hope on Refreshment Sunday in mid-Lent refocuses our minds on the Paschal mysteries soon to come. It reminds us too that Lent is a time of preparation, preparation marked by joy. Our prayer, our fasting, our almsgiving are to be offered to strengthen our faith, surely, but also offered joyfully in love, in generosity, not grudgingly or reluctantly. As the Lord Jesus himself says, whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites. Whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret. Whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites. But when you fast, put oil on your head, wash your face, so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father who is in secret. Whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. 
So you see, this fourth Sunday of Lent is marked by a special note of joy and hope. Let's pause there and then return to reflect on the Gospel for this fourth Sunday of Lent. Welcome back. This is the year of Mark's Gospel, of course, well known for its rapid pace and its brevity. So on the fourth Sunday of Lent, the Gospel is actually from St John. Not the feeding of the 5,000, but the tail end of the Lord Jesus' conversation with Nicodemus. Let's hear it. Jesus answered Nicodemus, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God sent his Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. He who believes in him is not condemned. He who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment, that the light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone who does evil hates the light and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who does what is true comes to the light, that it may be clearly seen that his deeds have been wrought in God. Taking as our guide that note of joy and hope that Holy Mother Church has given us in the liturgy for Letare Sunday, let us delve into the sacred scripture, attentive to the word of God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Simply in terms of structure, we have here in the first two verses, the final words of the Lord Jesus in his conversation with Nicodemus. Then the following six verses are a discourse-like commentary by St. John. Nicodemus, we learn in the earlier verses, is a Pharisee, a leader of the Jews, a teacher. He comes to the Lord Jesus by night, coming to Jesus, who is the true light that is coming into the world, the light that shines in the darkness that the darkness has not overcome. Nicodemus himself is feeling his way toward Jesus from darkness into light but fails to understand the truth of the Lord. Nicodemus also stands here for all Israel and the people of Jerusalem, who simply fail to understand. Jesus says to Nicodemus, no one has ascended into heaven, but he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. Jesus tells Nicodemus, the seeker, that he is the Holy One come down from heaven, the unique revelation of God. He then reminds Nicodemus of the bronze standard fashioned by Moses, by which the people of Israel were saved from the bite of the serpents, which was the punishment for the people's sins, their murmuring against God. Then he tells Nicodemus, and all Israel through and in Nicodemus, how that once and for all revelation of God is to happen as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. Think of the words of that ancient English poem, The Dream of the Rood. And then I saw the Lord of all mankind hasten with eager zeal that he might mount upon me 
I durst not against God's word bend down or break when I saw tremble all the surface of the earth. Although I might have struck down all the foes, yet stood I fast. Then the young hero, who is God Almighty, got ready, resolute and strong in heart. He climbed onto the lofty gallows tree, bold in the sight of many watching men, when he intended to redeem mankind. Jesus must be, needs to be, has to be, requires to be, lifted up on the cross for the salvation of the world. But that lifting up is also his exaltation, his glorification. And why? That whoever believes in him may have eternal life when he intended to redeem mankind. Here you see, surely, is superabundant reason for our joy and our hope. Not an earthly bronze serpent on a stick, but rather the Lord Jesus himself, Son of Man and Son of God, the Word made flesh, exalted high on the throne of the cross, there to be the means of our salvation for whoever believes in him. The Son of Man, exalted high upon the cross, is the perfect expression of the love that is the communion of the holy and undivided Trinity. But more than that, even more than that, it is the perfect expression of God's love for his creation. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. John's short discourse then teases out the significance of the Lord Jesus' word to Nicodemus, putting it on an eschatological plane. The word was made flesh, not to judge the world, but that the world might be saved. Those who believe the world will have everlasting life. Those who love the darkness, who do not believe, are condemned already. We make the judgment upon ourselves. Do we open our hearts to the love of God who first loved us? Do we truly believe that the man of Nazareth is indeed the light that is coming into the world? Do we walk in the light of Christ? Or do we rather love darkness, rejecting the love of God for fear that our evil deeds will be exposed? As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. As we journey with Our Lady and the Saints towards the celebration of the Paschal Mystery in a couple of weeks' time, may our journey be full of joy and hope. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are of fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, with the recompense of God. He will come and save you. Let us step out boldly, joyfully and in hope. Let us not stumble in the darkness. Let us hasten with eager zeal, resolute and strong in heart ready to meet the young hero who was God Almighty, who climbed onto the lofty gallow trees, bold in the sight of many watching men, when he intended to redeem mankind. To him be all glory, might and dominion, now and to the ages of ages. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Please join us again next week as we continue our Lenten Reflections.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. He shall come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We pray for the intentions of the Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Today we recite the Glorious Mysteries. The first decade of Glorious Mysteries is the resurrection of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. Second decade of the glorious mysteries is the ascension of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The third decade of the glorious mysteries is the sending of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. <clears throat> our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The fourth decade of the glorious mysteries is the Assumption of Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen.
The fifth decade of the glorious mysteries is the crowning of Mary as Queen of Heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may both imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Walsingham, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Word is made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Walsingham. Saint Joseph. The Lord led his people in hope while the sea engulfed their foes. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Welcome to the National Shrine and Basilica of Our Lady here at Walsingham, England's Nazareth, on this uh, Friday in the octave of Easter. Welcome to also my brother priests here, uh, Father Mark from the Diocese of Brentwood, Father Gino from East Anglia and Father David from the Diocese of Northampton and also those of you watching online uh, and via radio, you're most welcome uh, to this Mass today. We bring, as always, all our prayers to the Mother of God uh, in this Mass today. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, 
through my most grievous faults. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who gave us the Paschal mystery in the covenant you established for reconciling the human race, so dispose our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith we may express in deeds through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Peter and John were talking to the people, the priests came up to him, accompanied by the captain of the temple and the Sadducees. They were extremely annoyed at their teaching the people the doctrine of the resurrection from the dead by proclaiming the resurrection of Jesus. They arrested them, but as it was already late, they held them till the next day. But many of those who had listened to their message became believers, the total number of whom had now risen to something like 5,000. The next day, the rulers, elders and scribes had a meeting in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest, Caiaphas, Jonathan, Alexander, and all the members of the high priestly families. They made the prisoners stand in the middle and began to interrogate them. By what power and by whose name have you men done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, addressed them. The rulers of the people and elders if you are questioning us today about an act of kindness to a cripple and asking us how he was healed, then I'm glad to tell you all and would indeed be glad to tell the whole people of Israel that it was by the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, the one you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by this name and by no other that this man is able to stand up perfectly healthy here in your presence today. This is the stone rejected by you, builder, you the builders, but which has proved to be the keystone. For all of the names in the world given to men, this is the only one by which we can be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The stone, the stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Let the sons of Israel say, his love has no end. Let those who fear the Lord say, 
His love has no end. The stone, the stone which, which the builders, builders rejected, rejected has, has become, become the cornerstone. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. The stone, stone which the builders, builders rejected, rejected has, has become, become the cornerstone. O Lord, grant us salvation. O Lord, grant success. Blessed in the name of the Lord is he who comes. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord God is our light. The stone, stone which, which the builders, builders rejected, rejected has, has become, become the corner stone. stone. Please stand for the sequence. Christians, to the Paschal victim, offer sacrifice and praise. The sheep are ransomed by the Lamb, and Christ the undefiled hath sinners to his Father reconciled. Death with life contended, combat strangely ended. Life's own champion, slain yet lives to reign. Tell us, Mary, Say what you did see upon the way, the tomb the living did enclose. I saw Christ's glory as he rose, the angels there attesting, shroud with grave clothes resting. Christ, my hope, has risen. He goes before you into Galilee. That Christ is truly risen from the dead we know. Victorious King, by mercy show. Rejoice and are glad. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus showed himself again to the disciples. It was by the Sea of Tiberias, and it happened like this. Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two more of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said, I'm going fishing. They replied, We'll come with you. They went out and got into the boat, but caught nothing that night. It was light by now, and there stood Jesus on the shore, though the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus called out, Have you caught anything, friends? And when they answered, No, he said, Throw the net out to starboard, and you'll find something. So they dropped the net, and there were so many fish that they could not haul it in. The disciple Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. At these words, It is the Lord, Simon Peter, who had practically nothing on, wrapped his cloak round him and jumped into the water. The other disciples came on in the boat, 
towing the net and the fish, they were only about a hundred yards from land. As soon as they came ashore, they saw that there was some bread there and a charcoal fire with fish cooking on it. Jesus said, Bring some of the fish you have just caught. Simon Peter went aboard and dragged the net to the shore, full of big fish, 153 of them. And in spite of there being so many, the net was not broken. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. None of the disciples was bold enough to ask, Who are you? They knew quite well it was the Lord. Jesus then stepped forward, took the bread and gave it to them, and the same with the fish. This was the third time that Jesus showed himself to the disciples after rising from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. So a happy Easter once again to you all here today. We see here in our readings Peter taking a major part and there's something about how Peter has changed uh, in these last days when we think about how uh, nervous he was and how sorrowful he was for what he did to the Lord in denying him three times and now we see Peter preaching with great boldness and just those words particularly today which he says that struck me are are these I am glad to tell you and would indeed be glad to tell the whole people of Israel that it was by the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene the one you crucified whom God raised from the dead by this name and by no other that this man is able to stand up perfectly healthily here in your presence today. He goes on to say, for all of the names in the world given to men, this is the only one by which we can be saved. He's talking there, of course, about the holy name, the name of the Lord Jesus himself. And we can see how Peter is now impelled to preach this message that he's heard. And in the gospel, we see the disciples returning to that old way of life, fishing. Um, this must have been surprising for their families, bearing in mind they'd been away for three years. And you can almost imagine the family saying to them, well, it's about time you settled down, really, did something sensible with your lives, started earning some money. Um, so... And yet they were there, and it was precisely there that, of course, Jesus sees them. As it says, it was light by now, and there stood Jesus on the shore, though the disciples did not realise that it was Jesus. How did they fail to recognise Jesus? All sorts of possibilities about this, but he must have somehow looked different, as it seems to be in many of these resurrection appearances, people don't seem to immediately realise that it is him. And one of the great saints, St. Gregory the Great, says this about this particular gospel, the presence of Christ on land signifies the stability and peace of his resurrection life, as distinct from the instability and commotion of mortal life still experienced by the disciples as they labour upon the waves of the sea. Beautiful words from St. Gregory. And... This episode is, of course, also reminiscent of that first miraculous draught of fish where our Lord promised Peter he would make him a fisher of men. Now he's going to confirm him in his mission as the visible head of the church. And Peter will shortly renew uh, three times to Jesus uh, those promises uh, to, that he well, that he denied him, as we know, three times before. He will make up for that now, later on in this gospel. 
What else do we see in this gospel? Well, we see Jesus' uh, compassion on the disciples. Just listen to those words again from the gospel. Have you caught anything, friends? And when they answered no, he said, throw the net out to starboard and you'll find something. So they dropped the net and there were so many fish that they could not haul it in. The disciple loved Jesus, lo the disciple Jesus loved said to Peter, it is the Lord. And it's interesting that it is the beloved disciple that is the first to recognize that Jesus, it is Jesus that is standing on the shore. And as this particular commentator has pointed out, his identity was veiled. Was it possibly because of the distance, the lingering darkness or a dullness of spiritual insight? Possibly all, those, all three things. And this body of Jesus is now, uh, represents something new. It is a real body, but it possesses the new properties of a glorious body, not limited by space and time, and able to present how and where he wills. And then and the other example we see of Jesus' uh, compassion to his disciples are that scene on the shore. They saw that there was some bread there and a charcoal fire with fish cooking on it. Jesus' thoughtfulness and care towards his friends, his disciples, is so apparent. As this other commentator says, he makes use of natural things, the fire, the fish, etc., to show that he really is there. And he maintains that familiar tone typical of when he lived with the disciples, i.e. calling them friends. And it's interesting, again, as somebody's pointed out, that it's in front of this charcoal fire, which, is, interestingly, that phrase is only used here and in the, and earlier on in this gospel, between Jesus and Peter. The point is that Peter is given a second chance to affirm his love for Christ in front of a fire, after three times denying him in front of a fire, as we recalled last week. So this particular scene of Jesus feeding the disciples recalls that feeding of the 5,000 as well. Um, and since these are the only two meals in John eaten besides the Sea of Galilee and the only two where bread and fish are served. So there's a huge amount to reflect on in that gospel, but in a more practical way, um, these are the questions that strike me in regards to this gospel. What is God calling you or me to do this week? That is, how can we be obedient to what he's calling us to do this week? Pray about that in this Mass and ask God for guidance. Who can you witness or share your faith with this week? or even today? And who can you show God's concern and love to as Jesus showed that concern and love to his disciples? Well, if we're not sure, we can also always ask for the prayers of our Blessed Mother Mary. So we ask for her prayers today, especially in this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that have become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that have become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Perfect within us, O Lord, we pray, this solemn exchange brought about by these paschal offerings, that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, 
above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaiot, plenis uncelli et terra, gloria tua, hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in omine domini, hosanna, in excelsis. You therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or the offered for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be protected by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you, also for those to whom you've been pleased to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. way when supper was ended he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands once more giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. Humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Just a note about communion. Uh, distribution of Holy Communion will uh, be distributed from the left and the right aisles. If you require a low gluten host, those will be distributed in front of the tabernacle over there. Uh, if you're not Catholic or cannot receive communion for any other reason, you're welcome to come forward for a blessing. If you simply cross your arms over your chest, while the priests will give you a blessing. If you're receiving communion on the tongue, please open your mouth widely so that we can place the sacred host onto your tongue. And if you're receiving communion in the hand, please consume the sacred host in front of the priest. Thank you very much. Jesus said to his disciples, come and eat. And he took bread and gave it to them. Hallelujah.
Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Thank you for coming to Walsingham today on pilgrimage. Please do visit the Slipper Chapel uh, and place your petitions, if you so wish, in that little box uh, next to Our Lady there. Um, Our afternoon programme starts at 2 o'clock with Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament here in this chapel. And at 3 o'clock we have the Divine Mercy Chaplet, uh, followed by Rosary and concluding with Benediction. So you're very welcome to come to that. Uh, Wishing you a safe uh, travels as well. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Regina Celi, Letare, Alleluia, qui aque meru visti portare, Alleluia, resurrexit, sicut dixit, Alleluia, ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia. Our Lady of Walsingham, Saint Joseph.
for those who are joining us online today as part of the year of prayer in preparation for the Jubilee year 2005 we will now say the Jubilee prayer Father in heaven may the faith you have given us in your son Jesus Christ our brother and the flame of charity enkindled in our hearts by the Holy Spirit reawaken in us the blessed hope for the coming of your kingdom. May your grace transform us into tireless cultivators of the seeds of the gospel. May those seeds transform from within both humanity and the whole cosmos in the sure expectation of a new heaven and a new earth when with the powers of evil vanquished your glory will shine eternally. May the grace of the Jubilee reawaken in us pilgrims of hope, a yearning for the treasures of heaven. May that same grace spread the joy and peace of our Redeemer throughout the earth. To you, our God, eternally blessed, be glory and praise forever. Amen.
O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. Amen. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One. Have mercy, mercy on us and on, on the whole, whole world. world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us. And in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Amen. Jesus, I, I trust, trust in, in you. Jesus, I trust, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Saint Faustina, pray for us. Saint John Paul II, pray, pray for, for us. us. We now pray the mysteries of the Holy Rosary, and we continue to pray the glorious mysteries in this octave of Easter. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Pray for the Pope, the Church, and for peace in our world at this time. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive Forgive us our our sins, sins. save Save us from the the fires fires of hell. hell. Lead all souls to heaven, heaven, especially especially those who most need of thy mercy. mercy. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. He has risen, he is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive Forgive us our sins, sins. save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord into heaven. So then the Lord, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven and sits at the right hand of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in foreign tongues, even as the Holy Spirit prompted them to speak. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit 
of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Our Lady into Heaven. And a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon was under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of Our Lady, Queen of Heaven. Thou art the glory of Jerusalem, the honour of our people. The hand of the Lord hath strengthened thee, and therefore thou shalt be blessed forever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins. sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that, meditating upon these mysteries in the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may both imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Tantum ergo sacramentum, venerem ucenui, et antiquum documentum, novo cedat ritui, prestet fide supplementum, 
sensum defectui. Genitori, genitorque, laus et jubilatio, salus honor virtus coque, sit et benedictio, procedenti autroque, Compassit laudatio. Amen. Anum de cello prestitiae is alleluia. Omne delectamentum in se habentem. Oremus. Deus qui nobis sub sacramento mirabili passinus tui memoriam reliquisti. Tremimum coesimus. Ita nos copris it sanguinis tua sacra misteria venerari. Ut remsiones tue fructum. In nobis jugiter sensiamus, qui vives et regnas in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her spouse most chaste. Blessed be St. Joseph, her spouse most chaste. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints.
sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Prayer for England. O blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our most gentle Queen and Mother, look down in mercy upon England thy dowry and upon us all who greatly hope and trust in thee. By thee it was that Jesus, our Saviour and our hope, was given unto the world, and he has given thee to us that we might hope still more. Plead for us, thy children whom thou didst receive and accept at the foot of the cross, O sorrowful mother. Intercede for our separated brethren, that with us in the one true fold, they may be united to the chief shepherd, the vicar of thy son. Pray for us all, dear mother, that by faith fruitful in good works, we may all deserve to see and praise God, together with thee in our heavenly home. Amen. Amen. Our Lady of Walsingham. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Regina Celi, Letare, Alleluia, Qui quem eruisti portare, Alleluia, Resurrexit, Sicut Dixit, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deus. 